DM News, doing a movie review, not not anything new, but it's an older movie, it's from 1996, it's The Crucible starring Daniel Day-Lewis and Winona, Win, Winona Ryder, yeah, Winona Ryder, and Joan, Joan something. Alright, now first thing I'm going to tell you, it's a Salem Wichita movie, one of the most greatest Salem Wichita movies out there, it's emotional, it's a drama movie, it has a tour of elements, but it, it's just really, 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 really freaky, and I love the movie to death. Now, I'm going to get started off telling you, the movie is is really, really, really dark, and really, uh, really, really sad, and it, the whole movie is sad, and there's just so many deaths in the movie, and there's so many, you know, really emotional parts of the movie. First thing I'm going to tell you, it's about a little girl who, it's based on a true story, it's a play though, written out of the play, it's about a little girl, probably like 13 or 14, 15 years old, and she's accusing people randomly of being a witch or a wizard in Salem, and people are, random people are getting hung for the things that she's accusing them of that's never happened, so I'm going to give you that part, because that's just the basis of the movie. And then you got a character played by Daniel Day-Lewis called John, named John Proctor, who is a farm man, but he uh, he had an affair with Abigail Williams, and now Abigail's wanting him, so she's going to do everything she can to get to him, and she does some pretty intense stuff to get to him. And the movie itself, there's going to be really big spoilers in this review, so if you don't want to hear spoilers, just cut it off. But if you have not heard of The Crucible, then you should check it out, read the book, then watch the movie, tell me what you guys think. First thing I'm gonna tell you guys is I'm gonna talk about is Winona Ryder as Abigail Williams, who pulls off this really, really sick-minded young lady who just wants John Proctor as hers and hers for good. And if anybody's the witch in this movie, it's Abigail Williams and this group of girls who got caught dancing out in the woods naked and starting to run off and stuff and doing stuff that's witch-like. And they lie and lie and lie during this movie. They don't do nothing more than lie. And, you know, eventually it goes to court when we have, we have one of the main characters who is uh, Danforth, I think is his name. The judge, Danforth, Judge Danforth. And he's such an ass in this movie. And then you got Reverend Hale, who is actually the voice of reason who wants to tell John Proctor, you know, confess. But he didn't do nothing wrong. He just wants him to confess, you know, to save his life from being hung. Because this whole movie has to do with being, people being hung for no apparent reason. And people got hung back then because they never wanted to, wanted to admit to a lie that wasn't even true. So people were getting called witches and wizards when they weren't even witches and wizards. And they didn't want to confess because they were huge believers of God. And and it's sad to watch all those people, random people, just die. There's, you know, and Abigail Williams, played by Winona Ryder, is such a good... She does such a good job with this character who is such a mean... Doesn't care about no one else but herself and what she wants kind of little girl, little girl, and it's just, you know, messed up, it's, it's a, it has a messed up story to it, but it's such a good movie, and now I'm going to start talking about John Proctor, played by Daniel Day-Lewis, Daniel Day-Lewis won three Oscars in a row, he's a master at what he does, he's a true actor, and he, this is probably my favorite movie with Daniel Day-Lewis, and it, he, he nails the idea of a farmer and this guy who just has everything getting lost, right, and it's just, he does an amazing job, and one of the biggest emotional scenes is where he, he breaks out, it's near the end, he breaks out crying because he, he has to sign his name to, that states that he was confessing to witchcraft, and that everybody else would be going home, and that, you know, everybody else was not a witch, they were just confessing that, you know, they are witches, and, but John Proctor, he's sitting there, he's, the, he's the deciding it, he grabs the paper from the reverend's hand, and he's sitting there telling him, you don't need this, you know, you're the high courts, you you have all the proof that you need. God knows that I, you know, signed this paper and that I, and he, you know, he tells him that I'm signing lies for lies and he's not really what who he, what people think he is. So he'd rather hang than sign that and that is one of the biggest spoilers of the movie but it's not, it's common sense if you ever heard of The Crucible. Everybody should know what The Crucible is. I'll put down spoilers so don't worry. You know, Daniel Day-Lewis is such an amazing actor when it comes to this movie. He's the boss. He's probably the one that step, stands out the most in the movie because every time I see John Proctor come in, that's what I'm looking at. And a uh, really, really, really well done movie. Uh, the judges are a bunch of really, really greedy asses. And Reverend Hale's probably the next one that steps out more than anybody. Right next to Abigail and Elizabeth, who was played by Joan something. Who actually got nominated for Oscar for this movie. 
which I don't think she was really necessarily needed to be nominated for Oscar more than John Proc uh, Daniel Day Lewis was, because Daniel Day Lewis, you could tell, he put in so much to that role. Like he does every role that he does. So yeah, The Crucible, it's 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 dark, it's gloomy, it's sad, it's emotional, it's it's what happened back in Salem, back in the, those time periods, and really, really sad and dark. So I'm gonna give The Crucible, I'm gonna give The Crucible an A plus. It's it's a great movie, it's a fantastic movie, it's a have-to-see movie about Salem. It's the best Salem movie out there. And the ending, the last five minutes of the movie, is probably the best five minutes I've ever seen of any end of the movie. It was just well done. It was, there was nothing more you could have done. Best ending I've seen in a long time. I watched it recently, I loved it. So, guys, like, comment. Are you guys interested in seeing The Crucible? Do you guys want to even see a movie that was that? Back in 1996, are you guys interested in it? What do you guys think of Daniel Day-Lewis as an actor? Uh, subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And guys, thanks for watching.